hundreds of South African political parties, civil society organizations, and other supporters marched through the streets of Johannesburg on Wednesday, calling for a lasting ceasefire in Gaza to mark the International Day of Solidarity with the Palestinian people. South Africa is an open supporter of the Palestinian cause, with the establishment of formal diplomatic relations in 1995, a year after the end of apartheid. It calls upon each and every one of us to protest against any injustices that happens around the world. Because that thing that is happening in Palestine can happen to anyone around the world. So it calls upon each and every one of us to, to stand against injustice. So we are doing our intense human duty as people did with South Africa when we as black people were oppressed. People showed solidarity with us and this is the human imperative and duty to show solidarity and to support the cry of the oppressed people in the world. Fikel Mbalula, Secretary General of the African National Congress, challenged the Israeli Prime Minister with accusations of infanticide. Like Netanyahu, who's killing children, who's bombing hospitals, who's bombing refugee camps. Comrades, we are here today, moved by the camaraderie and the spirit of unity among us. We as the ANC, we have said to our government, we have joined political parties in parliament calling for the closure of the Israeli embassy. A majority of South African lawmakers voted in favor of a motion calling for the Israeli embassy to close and diplomatic relations to cease. South Africa downgraded its embassy in Tel Aviv in 2019 one of more than 130 countries that recognize Palestine as a sovereign state.